Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a lines painting, um, and it's going to be a Christmas inspired or Christmas color inspired abstract painting. Um, I still have the paint out from the last couple of videos, and again, I thought why put them away when I could just use them while I have them out. So again, we've got dark red, we've got light green, dark green, white, and gold. Hopefully you can see it all. Looks good. All right, now the tool we're going to be using is this kind of edge painter that you can get from Home Depot. I think you may even be able to get it from Walmart or something, but I'm pretty sure I got this one from Home Depot for like two bucks or something. It's just for like the edges, uh, for like walls when you paint walls to get the edges clean. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. So the last one that we did turned out pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and replicate that and see if we can, we can make kind of a Christmas inspired colored one. Um, and so we're, that's what we're going to do. So essentially what we did, actually, what I want to do, um, I kind of don't want to just get this all over my table because I already know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be kind of a mess. Um, let me see if I have a board or something here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this board down. Sorry, I didn't have this prepped. I didn't need to think about it. All right, so let me make sure you guys can see that. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with our colors, and we're going to just run the colors back and forth across the canvas uh, in different areas and different intervals. So we're going to do, you know, little thin stripes and then thick stripes, and we're just going to do it kind of all over the place. The more colors you have, obviously, the more uh, little stripes that you can kind of incorporate here. And I think one more at the top. And it's okay if it gets a little kind of crazy. It It's going to get mixed it together anyway. Uh, especially, I'm using gloss enamel. Uh, if you're just starting out watching my videos, I generally use gloss enamel, sometimes acrylic. Um, I think you could do this with acrylic. Uh, you'd probably have to just scrape the paint on from the tube, or you'd have to dilute it just a little bit just to get it a little runny to kind of do this if you were interested in doing these lined paintings. All right, so we've got some dark green. I think I'll do a little bit more just in case. And we're not trying to necessarily fill the whole painting, but we don't really want any gaps either. You kind of have to do like a balance thing because it really, uh, that's kind of what it comes out to at the end. So we'll do a little, little thin line there. We'll do one right there. It's okay if it overlaps. Those colors are going to mix together anyway. Um, I really want a lot of red right there. So we're just going to do that. And then another little thin trail right there. All right, so white, white's going to be a, a challenging color just because it's going to mix with all these other ones. So we're going to do some beads of white here and here and here and here. And traditionally, you know, black would probably also be um, a good color to do for Christmas if you're doing black and white and gold and all that. The problem is, is that we already have a dark green here, so if we use that, it may actually just overpower the whole painting. Uh, especially when these colors start to mix, then it just may be too much. All right, so we've got that. And now we've got gold as our final one. So we're gonna give it a mix. Just kind of mix it up, make sure it's gonna go. And we'll put some, some beads of gold in there. So we're at the top. And at the bottom, and right there, that's probably good. Okay, there's probably plenty of paint. We'll find out as we go. Um, but essentially, now we just paint. There's a lot of deliveries going on, so it may be kind of noisy. Apologize for that, friends. All right, here we go. So we're going to start at the top, and we're just going to push into the paint, and we're just going to drag it across the canvas and actually I'm going to go this way first to kind of cover the edge 
And now we're just going to slowly pull these paints through the canvas. All right, so that actually looks pretty good. Then we'll move on to the next little section here. A little wavy. I got a little wavy. Sorry, guys. All right. So now I'll do the bottom one. And again, I'll just kind of go to the side first to kind of cover the edge. Now, what I found is that if I push a little harder, I get kind of thicker lines. If I let up, I get thinner lines. So have an interesting tidbit all right this is the only section that didn't really get it so I'll just go I'm gonna go over the edge right cover the edge and then I'm gonna go back okay and I'm just gonna go over this part again Ah, it's starting to starting to go wavy on me. Okay, so we've got a little bit of crazy kind of wavy lines towards the bottom. Not a big fan of the uh, the wavy lines. However, it did turn out pretty cool. Um, not quite as good as the other one, but I do really like the thin lines. So I'm done with it. Um, traditional, what I would do is just kind of probably take some of this paint and then I would just run my finger along the edge to, to paint the edge. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just paint it black. So I'll just, you know, paint the edges black. That way it kind of frames it almost. Um, there is a little area right here that didn't get any paint. Um, if I go over it with that paint thing again, though, it's going to start to kind of mellow, mellow out the colors. It's going to start mixing them and they're going to start kind of getting gray like they did here. This is why, like at the very top, it's, it's more vibrant than at the bottom because those colors started mixing. But anyway, let me go ahead and take the glove off so I can show you guys the, uh, the painting here. I, uh, I do like it. And you can see there's a lot of excess paint over here, so that's why we wanted to put something down before we did it. So, all right, I gotta hold this little receiver for my microphone. Okay, so this is the final piece. Maybe I'll get a photo real quick. All right, this is it. Now, like I said at the top, you can kind of see that the the colors are a little brighter than the colors at the bottom, even though it's all the same colors. Because over time, as we use that tool over and over, and we, I had to go over this section a couple times, those colors started mixing, so they started mellowing out. They started mixing together and going from vibrant to dark. Now, I do like this piece. I think it turned out pretty cool, um, and I do like it. And I want to show you guys some of the lines. This is one of the most incredible tools I've ever used to make paintings because it makes these super thin lines. I mean, look at how thin these lines are paper thin um, and I've never been able to do that over and over again before sometimes I've had it happen when I've used other tools and stuff like that and it happened kind of on accident um, but using that little edge painter thing you can get it and you can kind of see even just the different colors within those lines um, you can see just even thin colors between the colors if you will so it's like 
it's like if you back up, right, you've got, you know, the thick bars of color, right? And you kind of zoom in. And it's like one of those, um, I forget what they're called, but you know what, what I'm talking about. Those, those paintings or pictures where it's like actually composed of a bunch of tiny pictures. Um, I really wish I could think of the word and somebody could probably put it in the comments below, but you know, where it's, it's like a big picture, but then you zoom in and it's actually composed of a bunch of smaller colored pictures. So it's like one of those because you see this big red bar and then as you kind of zoom in, you see that there's some green and stuff in it. And then as you zoom in some more, you see that there's actually red, different colors of red between the big bars of red. So I don't know, that tool just makes some really cool paintings. I, I actually really enjoy making these because the it's so kind of relaxing and satisfying to see these lines. It's just kind of pleasing to the eye. So anyway, I've rambled on enough, I think. I had fun making this painting. I think it turned out pretty good. And, um, you know, maybe it gives you an idea to make your own paintings. If not, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your oh, enjoyed watching the video. And thanks again. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.